Hey, it's me, Pat Riley. Pat Riley has arisen, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I told y'all, never doubt the great Patrick James Riley. No, I'm just kidding. You know I make jokes a lot, but it's just jokes. I would never doubt the Godfather. As the Miami Heat officially, as of what, 30 minutes ago, signed the Lon Wright, brother of former Heat's wing, Darrell Wright. Uh, and I do want to point out that I am back home, back at the parents' place in Broward. This is the childhood home as evidenced by the, the Big Three poster with LeBron covered up with a picture of Hassan Whiteside. I told y'all that in the podcast I dropped earlier today. I wasn't kidding, but shout out to my boy Hassan Whiteside, freshly retired. Hope my boy enjoys it. But anyways, this is a great pickup for the Miami Heat. Now, I want to preface the rest of this video by saying I understand this isn't a needle mover. I should also say I don't have my microphone, obviously, so sorry if the audio quality is a little worse. But anyways, we don't care. We hype today because DeLon Wright is an amazing player. Not a needle mover, but a guy that I think is nice on the edges of a team that does have hopes of competing for a championship, which is obviously what the Miami Heat have. So this season, DeLon Wright is only playing about 14 minutes a night. He's only played 33 games. I don't know why that is that Wizards team obviously sucks. Now, maybe it's because DeLon Wright's 31 and they want to give the younger guys more burn, but 31 is not old, and I do like that from the Heat perspective because for the last however many years, everyone that the Heat got was old as dirt. No offense, Kyle Lowry. No offense, P.J. Tucker. No offense, Kevin Love. I do like you guys, except Kyle Lowry. But, but anyways, this Heat team needed to get younger and faster. That's one of the things I love about the Terry Rozier trade, and I also love this about DeLon Wright, who's only 31 years old. I think we can say only because 31 is when guys are, you know, kind of at, at, in their prime, tail end of their prime. So we're definitely happy with that. But in 14 minutes a night with the Washington Wizards, he was only averaging 34 uh, or uh, four points per game. Excuse me, but. 37% from three, which is very a very nice average. It's only on like 1.2 attempts. So obviously he's not really getting them up, but the fact that he can shoot the three if he's left open is something that I think is very important, especially at the guard position. And he is 6'5", which is, you know, a bit bigger for a guard. We do like that. He's only at 39% from the field overall, so his overall efficiency isn't great, but we don't care about that. We're not looking at him to be a scorer because his main uh, like standing point is his defense. He's an absolutely great lockdown defender. He actually, I saw an interesting stat. He actually leads the league in percentage of his team's steals. So basically, 44.8% of all of the steals that the Washington Wizards get, DeLon Wright accounts for. That's almost 45% for a guy that's only played 33 games at 14 minutes a night. He has nearly half of their steals. Now, I don't know if that's credit to DeLon Wright or just uh, how it speaks to how bad the Washington Wizards are as a team on defense. But regardless, DeLon Wright's a guy that's been an amazing defender his entire career. Even this season, per 36 minutes, he's second in deflections. So a guy that can get into passing lanes, just like uh, Jimmy Butler does, that is something that will be very important on the defense for this team. Uh, and he's second, by the way, to Gary Payton the second. So the son of the glove, obviously got to be number one. So to have the line right at number two just kind of shows how, how great he is, how, how much of a high IQ uh, defensive player he is. He's not just a fast guy that could clamp up in the chair, but he also has the IQ to pay, play in the passing lanes, which in this switch everything, Eric Spolster, Miami Heat defense will be Perfect. Now, my guy Barry Jackson also puts out a pretty interesting stat himself. He says that uh, DeLon Wright has 82 assists this year to 11 turnovers. That's something that I'd love to see because this Heat team has had a lot of turnover issues all year and they don't have a backup point guard. So if DeLon Wright's going to come in and be the backup point guard, it's nice to know that he is sort of a, a low mistake guy. I don't want to say high turnover, low mistake. He's not quite a, a Tyus Jones, who I think we would have all loved from that team. But he is averaging 2.5 assists to only 0.3 turnovers per game. Again, in 13 minutes, I think those numbers are pretty good. So he's not a guy that you can't trust with the ball in his hands. He's not Hayward Highsmith, who every time Highsmith dribbles, I think he's going to get stripped or dribble the ball off his foot or something like that. So overall, 
Very great pickup for the Miami Heat. I'm very curious to see what his kind of role on this team will be. He'll obviously get some run in the short term with Terry Rozier, likely to miss some more time after the All-Star break, and Josh Richardson as well. Both those guys are week to week, so we're not talking long-term injuries, but I think they'll be out long enough to at least give the DeLon Wright a chance to kind of get some run and see how things go. But this is something I think Heat fans are generally happy with. When I did my list of buyout candidates, my wish list, I had Patty Mills number one. I still would like to get Patty. He hasn't been bought out yet. He might never get bought out. Number two, I did have Gallinari just because I think he's a guy that's, you know, in his career, he's obviously been a better player than DeLon Wright, even though he is on the older side, but he just sided with the Milwaukee Bucks. So we don't care about Gallinari, even though he's my Italian brethren. And the third guy I had on my list was DeLon Wright. Now, he was almost too good that we weren't even sure if he would get bought out. But the good news is that he actually not only got bought out, but they immediately said he'd go to the Miami Heat. So we didn't have any sort of uh, hopes or fears that he'd get sweeped up by the Celtics or the Suns who somehow have unlimited salary cap space. I don't know how the hell they do it. But overall, uh, I'm very happy, clearly. Let me know what you think, Heat fans down below. Are you excited about DeLon Wright? Do you think he should start? Do you think he should get a lot of run off the bench? Do you think he should not play because Nikola Jovic is the starting point guard? Which is a fair take. I'm actually dropping a really great in my opinion i'm very happy with this video nikola video uh nikola Jovic video tomorrow so make sure y'all check that out like this video and subscribe if you enjoy because i do greatly appreciate all of it a ton uh and also leave a like because you know we got the son white side back there i could turn the camera around real quick here we got the uh the goran dragic uh, calendar there uh basketball who so if there was ever a sign of a child at home it would be uh, those things right there Anyways, I'm going to go get out, edit this video, uh, and go hoop tonight. Because I'm hyped now. Let's get it. Peace out, y'all. Pull up in the city, trying to get that dead fast. Like, do it on my own, I don't need no dead weight. Like, had to kill him off, yeah, I need a headspace. You know this homegrown bitch don't offend me. Hmm.